everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And tonight I'm working on my peacock picture. Let me stand up so I can show you where and what we're doing. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. Now I'm working right here in this corner and let me show you Whoa. so far I don't know if you can see it or not but I've got like these squares right here and right now I am working with let me see I have to look again look at the key and you'll know what I mean there are 66 colors in this they're all just vivid and beautiful so we will see how well this goes but I am on this symbol here number 61 it is DMC 3805 and I don't know if I can get you close enough Whoop, I'm sorry sorry oh come on there we go and then I'll pull you up close Sorry, I should have adjusted that earlier, but this thing is a real pain in the butt. Okay, so do you see where my needle is? So I'm doing, let me get the needle out of there. These right here, and there's some more right in there. So what I'm going to plan to do is go all the way across this way, since it's the short way. Now, this thing is huge, so I did have it rolled up, and I used, um, I call them binder clips, you know, they just clip on, so I roll it up and um, clip them on the, the side like that, just to hold it, so that I can hold it usually and lay it in my lap. I hope this isn't too close, let me back you up just a little. A little bit there we go we'll see how that works but and I also threaded three different needles let me see if I draw down so that I can tell when I'm in and out of frame hang on oh my goodness I don't know how well this is gonna work all y'all but hell we're just gonna give it a shot gotta get rid of those so how's everybody doing today? Today is my um, day, well, I had to work today, so tomorrow is my day off, and they're split this week. Can you see where I'm at? But, uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do with my day. I think on the weekend my daughter and I are going to go uh, garage sailing, maybe, but, uh, We'll see how that goes. She's kind of got a cold after she got back from uh, Arizona. So I don't know how she's going to feel on the weekend. Hope everybody can see this. I got it tucked underneath the, what do you call it? Under the tripod. So we will have to see. But I just go across. and that way I don't have to go up and down and I can see this really plain and really clear um, thought I'd do this for a change tonight instead of diamond painting everybody seems to want to see stitching stuff so we'll do stitching stuff for a while and maybe in the interim I'll work on the diamond painting stuff separately um, I was pretty angry when I got off work today because I went to the post office and I didn't have anything. I get home and the two I told you that were coming from China said it was delivered, but I'll be danged. Um, I didn't get nothing. Oh, I was pissed. And of course, I didn't get off till 5 or they're close to. So by the time I get to the post office, they're closed. So 
I guess I'll just go raise havoc at the post office tomorrow and find out where everything's at because the Diamond Art Club and the other two, plus the the containers that uh, I uh, ordered, all came in and said they're in. Well, maybe not the Diamond Art Club. Um, it's supposed to be here on the 9th, so it might be a couple more days. I don't know why I do priority shipping because they didn't ship it until yesterday and I'm sure they were busy you know at the first of the month and all that but still it's just it's just kind of silly so I don't know but um, I haven't got one of the new ones yet so this is one for my stash so to speak I haven't made up my mind what I want to buy and I've been looking on Joy Sunday again and I noticed something I was just browsing around today and I was on Amazon and I saw this picture of a tiger and it says right on you know when they show the picture of the what it is it says right at the top Mion and I didn't know that Mion stuff was sold at Amazon. So I don't know if this is a private person selling a kit or, or what. But uh, it was a beautiful white tiger. And it's not, you know, the one that's laying down or anything. This is just the head of a, a white tiger. Kind of like the way that they did the other, the regular tiger one that was out, oh God, several months ago. But I'd never seen this one before, so I'm kind of, and it was pretty spendy. It was a 40 by 50, I think it was close to 50 bucks for a diamond painting. And I'm like, well, it better be Diamond Art Club, kids, because I don't know about that. I mean, I spent uh, $55 on the Great Wall, and look how big it was. I mean, it was, it's like, 80 by 210 or something like that. And I paid $58. It was on sale for half price when I bought it. I wanted that painting so bad. And where is it at? It's over there sitting down. Okay. We got that little section done. I'm going to trim this. Did I tell you I threaded two other needles so we won't have to stop? Molly, hush. Sorry. Maybe they'll get their dog in. I swear. They just wait for me to come home, I think. I don't know. Jamole. Bien. Oh, she has to bark at that crazy little dog. And that dog ain't no bigger than she is. Now, see, I'm not real clear what that is, so I'd have to look those stitches up right in there. For some reason, it... it it's a little iffy. There's a lot going on there. So, I see this one. Okay, hang on. I've got to move you guys. i got to have a little more. Whoop. Maybe. I'm going to move you this way. Can everybody still see? Hush. Let me unplug my crazy light pad. I forgot I would see. There I go again. I forgot I was going to look for another light pad. Oops, I'm too far. Sorry, one more time. Moving left again or right, whichever. Okay. I'm trying my dang just to stay in focus and everything. This is a pretty pink. I've been working with all these light colors. You can kind of see different ones. But the background, parts of it is that, see, it's like a cream colored. And it kind of draws out all these other colors. There's a couple more stitches I gotta take over there, but not too bad. Oh, come on. But, um, not much going on. It was kind of a quiet day at work. Kind of weird. It looked like it was gonna rain all day long, didn't hardly rain, but about 10 drops. So, it was not a big deal. Whoops, sorry. And, uh, 
this is going I mean it, it's going fair none, none of this shit is fast ever but it does go a lot faster than having to put them damn beads on there but that other one I like because it's manageable size if I had to do one like this size I don't I don't know I mean I've got one but am I working on it no it's just too condensed and, and everything is just shoved into one place and trying to I don't know how Rachel already does it how to stay on the line and what you're doing is pretty hard tie this off here and get a hold of it my hands are kind of dry went out and bought new hand lotion you ever just have one of those scents that just reminds you of home I went out and bought a bottle of Jergens it reminded me of my my house when I was little because my mom and my grandmother both used um, Jergens hand lotion hang on I gotta find my thread I unrolled this and it's still attached there oops sorry guys my bad gotta jeez Louise hang in there folks all right hang on oh my god all right I'll fix you here in a minute give me a second I got my hands full. Let me get this where it needs to be. And I can't. No, I was going to say I can't even see the uh, the key that is printed on this because it's rolled up at the other end and it's only at one end. So, how are we doing here? Are we doing okay? Everybody watching or being able to see this time. Maybe I won't be so jerky if I got it nailed down. And I am using uh, two threads. It says on 11 count you're supposed to use three, but again, I don't like that. I think it's it's just too bulky and I don't know. Just don't like it. So that that's just me. Everybody do as they please. But. Uh, and this isn't too hard to find on the, um, what do you call it? On the page, you know, as to what's what. Because it, they do have numbers running down the sides in increments of 10 and then up. Oops, I can't. Shit. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, do you see that? There's these running this way and then going this way. There's numbers on the over here on the edge so that way I just look up on the grid as to uh, what it is and uh, look up the symbol and I kind of keep it in my mind because you know not all these are the same you know not even close so that makes it a whole lot easier to sew on and uh, yeah, so, I mean, things could be worse. Oh, and they have. But, uh, yeah, trying to, see, that's why I don't like going up and down. I had to get over to one other area. And since this kit suggests that you work it in uh, three strands, I figure I'm going to have some kind of thread left over and everything. And what I have left over I think I will wrap around my things. Where are they? On these. The little uh, bobbin things. Because, you know, it, right now, there's just way too much thread to even wrap it around. You'd have to make four of them per one, you know, color. And it's just not worth it to me. And I really like the top of these hang on just a second I'll show you what I'm talking about the other ones hold on hold that thought okay oh geez I missed the whole chair guys that, that was great I rolled halfway across the room okay on these they are just laid down in like a slot and there's they're all separated so that there's they're not double-ended and what I did with the ones that were double-ended 
is I cut them in half. And that way they can all hang just like, like this, you know. And uh, I saw, um, is it Creativity by Gidge? I think the one that sells the color street nails that everybody talks about. Sorry, I need to drink the coffee. Um, she has a book. And it's like she, uh, like a, you know, one of those, oh, you know the diamond things that fold up into the book? That holds the diamonds and they, they're all, you know, like slot, 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 slot. Well, she has one of those, looks kind of like that, only it's really thick. And she punched holes, sorry, um, here, you know, like a, one, two, and three. And she just locks them in, just like you were putting them in a three-ring notebook, if you will. And keeps them out of the way. So, I thought that was pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. But this, I kind of like. I just do one color, you know. And like I said, I'll get out a strand. I don't have one right now. But, um... I'll get a whole... Whoa! Sorry, guys. Avalanche! Oh, cripes. Okay. I get out a strand. Where am I? Right here. And it's like double this length. So this length is probably two and a half feet long. So it's probably a whole yard of DMC floss. And then I cut them in half. And then I just use... And go as far as that will go. And that way I don't have to worry about putting it back. And, you know, making more knots in this than I have to. And it, these, the other one was kind of, if you will, let me see if I can do this on my hand. It's like, I don't know if I can get far enough away. Like, like that. Where are we? On the thing so you have to undo it to get the thread off and these just like I said they're just laying they're like draped over so let me see if I can show you see this is one where are we one whole strand so it's in the hole but it's draped over so it's not going anywhere I'm not gonna fall off but that way you don't have, I tie them back onto here. And then I thought, well, hell, I'll just use what I get out. And um, that way I won't have to tie any onto it or, and it won't get all mashed up. So these have less of a chance of getting screwed up. You can see kind of where I took out one or two threads, but it's so much easier to pull them out of here. You don't have to, and I shake them down. And they shape kind of down like a like a mop, if you will. Let me put these up. So I thought that was pretty cool. And so it's real easy to work with, except for I haven't quite got on to when I'm sitting down. Because behind I don't know that I can turn this around. We're turning, guys. Hang on, I want to show you. Do you see this, this right here? This is, it's all rolled up. And I have it just laying here. But when you have it on your lap, you have to kind of get it down just so it don't drag the floor past your knees so you can maneuver this material. So, I know. Oops. Coming back again. Coming back again. Oop, coming down again. So, I haven't quite got that all worked out in my brain as to uh, how I want that to work. Uh, you know, like, it all goes back to that scroll. Um, oh, it's not a hoop, but it, it's a scroll thing, you know, like, uh, I believe Rachel Ray has hers on a scroll. I cannot do that right there when it's so tight you can't maneuver it, and I'll be damned if I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. I hate that shit. So I would rather have it so that I can maneuver the material where I want it to be. Um, because it just, 
it's too tight. I can't get it to go and do what I want it to do. Because sometimes I'll work on it just like we're here, or I will turn the whole thing sideways and come back down. But for, you know, instructional purposes tonight, this is what the way I'm doing it. So I'm working around that situation. But uh, normally I would just maneuver it in my hands how I wanted it to be. And I can stitch so much faster than up and down. But, uh, ah. so, oops, come on, and this needle seems to be a little bit longer than that Joy Sunday needle that I had, um, I haven't figured out, um, you know, what other kits that I want, or anything like that, I mean, I've got enough on my plate, I mean, it's not that, um, and it's just been usually, oh, whatever strikes me, you know, and uh, what I want to do, but um, I haven't looked at any of them. One of my subscribers said that she got uh, the two wolf heads and um, a kingfisher bird on a, um, oh, on a cattail. And I went and looked at those, and they're both from Joy Sunday. So I wish her well. I don't. I didn't see how big they were. I, I, I was in a hurry this morning, um, trying to go through replies and comments and stuff, and I had to go to work, of course. So, but uh, they look really pretty. I, I, you know, I just, I don't know, man. You heard about the people that went from stitching to diamond painting? Well, we're the people that go from diamond painting back to stitching. But I like them both. I really do. And, you know, I enjoy doing both. And I guess I better enjoy because I've got lots of other diamond paintings to do. I don't know in the back of my brain if uh, my I'm trying to get as many, what do you call it, stitch kits as I have diamond paintings, which... It's well over 80 diamond paintings. So I hope not because we'll be doing stitching in heaven. Because we ain't ever going to get that crap done. So <coughs> I was looking also for some small ones. You know that I know. I try. I start out looking for the small ones. And here we are. Do you see what I've got? Yes. Well, I can't resist. Because they're just so beautiful. And uh, this, it doesn't go real fast. But I wanted some for like summer, you know, that were going to be about the size of the cat. Um, the cats in the teacup, you know, what is that? Oh, maybe 10 by 10, uh, 12 by 12. And I don't have any um, particular... Uh, what do you call it? I don't want to say genre, but area that I'm looking for. They don't have to match anything. It's just what pleases me, you know. And uh, I really don't care if it all goes together or if it, it doesn't. That that makes no never mind me. It's just what looks like fun to, to stitch on. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go slow. And they're not too spendy, you know, unless you get into something huge, you know. But... Uh, yeah, we won't be buying any from, what was the name of that place? All, oh God, that, that place where I got the freaking poppies from. No, I'm, I'm strictly staying with Joy Sunday. Um, and there's another company there on Amazon that I was looking at, and I'll be danged if I can remember what it was called. But um, the company is in China, and it, I think it was like, one of those companies that was made for women to give women something to do. And um, they just have some really beautiful stuff. Um, and they had a little video, you know, like where you would look at the picture and and it shows you what size and how big it is over your couch. <laughs> what a joke. Um, it showed a video of their factory and how they did all their stuff and how things were, were made in their factory. And I was pretty impressed 
with the, that video, and um, I thought maybe I'd look into them. And their stuff is, um, I'm thinking, on a par with Joy Sunday. Um, and you can get into some really cheap, cheap kits, you know. But, um, and others, I think, are overpriced. Like, like, take, for instance, the poppies. I think that that should have been worth about 15 bucks, okay? About half of what I paid for it, because it wasn't worth it. I'm, but that's just to me. That you know what I mean? I that's that's the way I felt about it. But uh, and having not ever sewn on anything else, um, or any other kind of material, I should say, it was just it was too difficult to uh, keep my uh, my attention or um. I, make a gauge you know when you do crochet and knitting everybody is so worried about a gauge and you know you have to be consistent and um yeah no that was so not me it was beautiful and I should just left it right where it was but yeah now I might think that about this too but you know we're just gonna keep going and I think once I get um what do you call it I forgot what I was even going to say. Far, you know, like across here, I'll start rolling it up again and using my clips at the other end, and then there won't be so much chance of it getting dirty or wet or, you know, anything like that. But, you know, see? it. Well, you can't hang on. We're lifting you up just a second. But it lays nice. It really does. I don't... And I think that once you get done with this and you wash it, and you, what is that, block this? I don't know how you'd ever block it, but um, I think that if you didn't block it, you could carefully iron it after it had been washed. I think, you know, because I have done that with some of the, the cross stitches in the past, um, just so it'll lay nice. You don't want to get real hot, um, what do you call it? A hot iron terribly hot iron and I would probably do it between towels just like you were gonna iron wool hang on I got to go after my other needle so hang on guys okay all y'all hope you can see me but see how nice that is and you can see that that um, what do you call it pattern here on the canvas. Gosh, you can think what I wanted to say. Um, it's real clear, and it's not confusing. There's nothing confusing about this yet. You know, I'm sure that there are going to be parts of this where um, whoops, I screwed up. Sorry about that. What in the world did we do, Laura Jean? <sighs> Crap. Hang on. I got to talking. Now, this is what I do when I do a stitch going the wrong way. I will come back up and see how this thread that I'm using needs to go the other direction and underneath. So I'm just kind of weaving it underneath and I'm going to do it for that next stitch. Every once in a while I find myself doing the wrong way. But you see how I just laid it right underneath it. And this material, that nabbit, is very forgiving, you know. And it's stiff enough, it's going to hold up, it's not going to limp out in your hand. I love that part. Gosh darn it. You silly billy thing. Molly, shut up. Oh, and I'm going the wrong direction, but maybe. Hang on, guys. There we go. Come underneath it. And I'm just going to go right back down. And nobody knows the wiser. That you didn't make that all in one stitch. Alright. I think I'm going to pause for right this minute. And um, for just a second. And I'm going to go get the beaded cross stitch. And we're going to do some of it tonight. 
So if you'll just give me a second, it'll be a blink for you guys, but hang in there. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I got out the beaded cross stitch. And as you can see, I'm working on this area right down in here. And get my needle out of there. It's all the way at the bottom. Boy, going from one size needle to another. Boy, that's something different, ain't it? All right, so let me see. And I have my cheat sheet from the other night. Let me see if I can get my beads off of it, because, God, that would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? You know, it's just, I really need to clean this desk off. I feel like I'm working in a closet. So I wrote, sorry, down the, the lime green and the medium colors and the blue and this and that. And this number down beside is the number of the bead. And this is the one up here. Oh, no. Whoops. I'm too close. From the other part over here on the... Uh, over here on this uh, cobblestone so that way I have it right here and I know what bead goes where if I can just find the needle now we'll have it made okay so what is going on all right I have to figure out which way I'm going light green Light olive green is number. Oh shoot! Dag nabbit. Really, kids? Oh, this is not a good start. Hang on, guys. All right, guys. Are we here back again? All right. So I had I knocked over the little bitty. I got my beads in my little lid that has the number on it. I may have to go up and down with this sucker. That way we can do two things tonight. And all stitching, see? Oh, goodness gracious. But anyway, it looked like it was going to rain all day long. And it just barely sprinkled. And by the time I got ready to come home at 5 o'clock... It was cold. I mean, and that we had lost the mountains. We always say we lose the mountains, it's going to snow. Well, hmm. medium green is number 27. I've got to keep this out of my way. This is all precarious at best, guys. You just have no idea what we're working with over here. Really? Oh my goodness. It was not a night to multitask, I am telling you. But I just wanted to do this too. Get the damn scissors out of my way. Them scissors are heavy. I'm not liking them. They are for looks only. I swear. Oh, and you can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, let's move you down a little bit. My bad. Crap. And I went down instead of back up. Now I can do that across the, the canvas thing, but for right now, we'll just... Holy crap. I gotta figure out what color. 27. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Duh. Oh, gosh. And this one's real clear, too. So, I'm not having any problems with it. It's just a matter of sitting it down and doing it, you know. Brown, brown, brown is number one. And I put it out way out in left field when I'm going to use it here across. I like how they numbered it on the canvas in certain areas, which is kind of nice. Can you see what I'm doing here? I got a lot of this brown one, and it goes right to there. So I'll need one more. But see, I couldn't follow that booklet thing and do this so that's why I'm I kind of like this when it's real it has to be clear for for dummies for me it's like bead embroidery for dummies because I'm telling you my mind is fried and 
my eyes are tired and what the hell? Oh. Um, and it's really hard for me to go right straight across I suppose if I had some kind of a magnet on the back with a ruler you could just move it up and down but uh, maybe I, I don't know you know, and had it attached to something. I need that light green again. Light green is two, 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 two. Oh, for pity's sake. But it, it really doesn't take as, you know, and I take this in swatches. I mean, I'm not going very far. Now this, it looks like I am. You know, in this area in particular, yes. But up here, you know, I mean, it was real easy to um, just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and work your way through, you know. So, um, I had to find my one. And I was watching uh, Rachel Ray do this, and she keeps the beads in her hand. I thought, oh, my Lord, no. I'd forget they were there. And they'd be gone about 90... See? There it is right there. 90% um, of the time, it's already... The other one's already on there. But it, it takes patience. You know, and by the time you finish this, you're going to have something. I don't know what. Hopefully a good-looking picture. But... Uh, and, and it doesn't seem to matter if you work it in little sections at a time. That, that's part. because I mean I guess when I saw it on um, Crayola Picks, um she just went right straight across like there was nobody's business but you know she's probably 30 years younger than I am but um, and could watch that pattern but um, I like working in sections and you know I may this time just go to here and then go back you know it's got some really pretty blue can you see that blue down there let me see if I can bring oops bring you up just a little bit sorry there seriously really pretty blue right in here it's like a midnight blue I'm trying there we go can you see that isn't that beautiful just gorgeous so you know it's one silly thing after another and I'll probably be working on these for the next 20 years but hey we'll have them but uh, I was watching uh, Stitcherista and she um, in her um, I'll call it her office for I don't lack of I don't know what it is I'm assuming it's her office you know, where she does her work and stuff, and probably also does diamond painting and everything else. But um, she had a lot of different um, stitch things that weren't very big, you know. I tend to get carried away with the big ones, but we all know that, right? I have a problem, a real problem with that. But but I just thought it would be really nice just to do something small. And so I've been on the hunt for, um, that's number two smaller looking um, cross stitches stuff that you know kind of like I was with the diamond painting and for most part I think you can tell what was I going to say what it's going to look like it, it's not like buying a small diamond painting and you kind of go it's a crapshoot you know because you don't know if the details are all going to be there or not so yeah, I don't know just one silly thing after another but but for the most part it seems like the fronts of those have a picture of what it looks like when it's completed which I like so um, two. I had to think where I was going oh Molly be quiet sorry guys okay is that the lime green? No, that's not the lime green. That is the medium green. So it'll be a 27. And this is certainly big enough 
for anybody's beaded cross stitch. You'll either love it or you will hate this thing by the time you're done. You know, and, and some people will find it frustrating. And others, you know, will just... App there, I finally got to do that. Jeez, I'm sick of going up and down again. Um, so, you know, I mean, to each his own. And not everybody likes everything. So, and that's what makes this all different, you know, which is nice. But, uh, so I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of up in the air. I don't have anything on my mind right now that, um, I, uh, or in mind, I should say, not on my mind, um, as to what to get. I, you know, I don't know. Just don't know. But, um, I mean, I've seen some pretty flowers, but you get sick of flowers. And I saw this beautiful, um, oh, it's like a landscape thing, but it was pure stitching again. But it wasn't a big, huge one like the peacock thing. Um, it was probably, I'll say, a little smaller than 50 by 60, but I'm still thinking, holy hell, really? No, not happening. So, and, and it was a full threaded cross stitch. So, um, I don't know, and it had a lot of detail. See, that's where I don't know. You know, I, if I was going to buy a diamond painting and it be that big, I would expect the detail and know that, Nine out of ten times, it's going to show, you know, show pretty much 80 to 90 percent of the detail. But, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. You know, so I'm kind of up at the air, and I don't need to spend any more money. I just, just like gathering crap, I guess. I just can't help myself. I need to find some place. I was going to get um, a flat plastic container, you know, like you'd put under your bed, but not quite that big, you know, and not quite that deep to put my stitching stuff, the ones that aren't open in. And I'll be damned if they weren't out of them. I'm telling you. Medium green in. We're back to 27. But this works really well in these um, little uh, container lids. You know, you don't have to get too many out. And when you spill them, you only fill, spill about six or eight. You know, you can get more. There, there are always more. Yeah. I don't even want to look at the bag of the damn dr or drills of beads, you know, someplace else. Uh, I just want just a few out and it's controllable that would be my key issue with that big one you have to have 15 different colors out just to you know um, and then remember what the, the symbol was and the symbols well on um, this one I wouldn't say I, I don't have the tag now but what did I do with it uh, I don't know, but did I put it over? No, it's not there. I don't know, but the symbols on that other one that I was doing here earlier, um, it is, um, hang up, we're flashing for some reason. Um, the symbols, I mean, they they go one through something or other, and then they change to letters, and then it's like uh, typewriter. Um, what do you call it? I guess we're okay. Molly, be quiet. Um, like typewriter key symbols, and I don't know, I haven't but done, but like six or eight different symbols on this one, so I'm not... I didn't look through it. I just, just doing it, you know. Where's that medium green? So, you know, they can make the symbols as complicated as they want, but 
the symbols that are on here are different from what's there. So, but you can look it up. Oh, that one was kind of small. That um, in the whole scheme of things, I'm not taking it out. Uh, what was I saying? Molly, be quiet. Jesus, I can't even concentrate. Um, the symbols on this are not the same as the symbols on the pattern. So what I do, uh, this one, there are numbers, or that, remember how I told you there was a grid? Well, this grid runs only around so-called half of it, not half, but it'll go up, up one side this way and up one side that way. So you have to figure out what page it is or wherever you're starting. And you can tell pretty much on this one because it's not as nondescript as that other one. Um, and it's real easy to find where you, you need to be. And you can count in increments of 10 to figure out what you need on this one. Um, so it's not a big deal. But on that big one, it does have the grid around it. You know. And I just start in one corner and just... God dang it, here we are again. Trying to find the wall. Oh my goodness. But, um, yeah. So I like this for what this is. You know. And it's easy enough to hold in your hand and so, I don't know. I'm not on the hunt for anything spectacular or different, but uh, I don't know. I guess I should just be satisfied with what I got right here and not look anymore, but I like to have new things for y'all to see and, and try and do yourselves, you know, and uh, it, it's not a hardship on me, I mean, to, to get different kits and stuff. I just... I really hate looking. It's like I either find 20 that I really want or I don't find anything at all. Or it all starts looking alike. So then I just kind of give it a little breather and uh, then go back at it, you know, at another time. Because after a while, everybody's carrying the same thing, just like the damn diamond paintings, you know, except for Diamond Art Club. Of course, they're in a league of their own. But you know what I mean. If, after you look at New Frog and you look at Amazon and you look at AliExpress and Alibaba and whatever else there is out there, you know, it's just, yeah, it gets old, you know, unless you're trying to find something and then, you know, by God, you just can't find it at all. So, well, we're almost even over here. I made tacos when I came home, and now all I can taste is those crazy onions. But it sure did taste good going down. I probably haven't cooked in a week. I just, I'm too tired to even think about it. So one night I brought home a pizza from work, and another time I got out that lasagna and had it for two or three days. So there consumes about six days of, you know, of my life so to speak, but, uh, and a couple of nights I had eggs and bacon or something, you know, I just, I don't know, I'm just losing it about wanting to, uh, to cook when I get home, and this is only going to get worse, guys, it's just going to get worse, but I suppose we'll, we'll get used to it, it's just getting used to, hope you can see what I'm doing, better tonight than you have. Uh, I just get tired of cooking and cooking for nobody but well ooh, I missed where is that hole there we go one more blue now I don't know where I laid down the the what do you call it the pattern I had it earlier and it wasn't the one I needed for the big one, so I set it down. I think it's back over there. I wonder how Susan, Diamond Painting with Susan, is doing on hers. I hope good. She started up in the clouds. She's a smart little woman, let me tell you. Because this is like 
Up, down, up, down, up, down. But it's coming. It's coming. And it, it won't go fast, ladies and gentlemen. It really won't. So you might as well just chill your heels and do it one bead at a time. But, you know, it's something different to look at. I almost got out that other diamond painting, that little one with the cats that I showed the other night. I just wanted something small, and I'm sick of looking at the princesses. So I was going to just work on it because I know I could probably finish it if I just buckle down and finish it. But, oh, well, we'll, we'll do stitching tonight kind of enjoy it. It's different. And when I do them, they're all different. So, you know, I get to work with different colors and different beads and different threads, you know. Let's see. Whatever that is, we're making it. I don't know what it's going to be. I think there's some flowers or something there. So, it'll be a while. There's some flowers. I don't know if you can see them up in here, too. And then this is the greenery. So, just one little silly bead at a time. And I can't really see it until you get away from it. I can see it better in the camera than I can when I'm right on top of it. Just like a diamond painting. Boy, I did that diamond painting the other night. Man, I was like lickety-split on that sucker after doing this. Because this goes kind of slow. And I am using two threads here. So that's been working out. It hasn't... Oh, well, that was attractive. It haven't had a problem until I uh, put that on there. Oh, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to improvise, girls. And boys, we is going to improvise. Brown. Let me have the bead. I don't know what happened to the bead. But now we have a bead. Now we're going to go right back down in the same hole, and nobody will know that I've already been there once. There we go. Oh, now into lime green. Lime green, lime green. Lime green is number eight, which is kind of, it's the, the carnival glass one. It's really pretty kind of got purples and shapes. It reminds me of peacock feathers, if you will. Peacock feathers and carnival glass. Oh, Lord, I'm running out of thread again. But this thread's been pretty good. That one on that other big one, oh, my God. It would just either get fuzzy or it'd break or it'd fray, and I could never get it. Um, what do you call it? <sighs> Threaded. Oh, yeah, it was nuts. Speaking of threading, I watched uh, My Clothes Smell Like Candles. And uh, she got a counted cross stitch. It's going to be beautiful when she's done, too. Okay, am I getting there? I don't know if you were still in frame. Okay. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, she was talking about using the threader, the needle threader. Think, do you remember how a long time ago, far, far away, back, you know, in the dark ages, you know, the 50s, the 60s, um, they had those things that you, I don't know, it was kind of made out of metal, and then it had, and it was about as big as my thumb, maybe not quite that big, maybe about the size of a dime, and let's see if I can, I can demonstrate and it had a thing like on this and it was um, this part was metal and then it just had a hoop of wire and you stuck the wire through the eye of the needle and you put the thread through it and then you just pulled it back and it was threaded I haven't seen one of them in years my mother used to have hand sewing needles and it came in a little flat booklet so when you opened it up you had all the different kinds of needles and it had one of those attached to it and I, I haven't seen one since. Yeah. So they probably don't even make them anymore. I don't know if you can buy vintage sewing sewing materials. But uh, I just thought that was too cute. 
but it worked it really worked and she said she got it her husband had a travel sewing kit and I don't know what the deal was but it looked like it you know I don't know if they still even sell them like that now the one I got hang on let me get this stupid needle back up because you know me and needles gotta know where it's at at all times here's the one I'll take it out of the plastic that they sent me with the big kit and it looks like this I haven't got an, any more idea than a rabbit uh, what to do with that I, I yeah because I know it it's not good you see it'd have to be a see how big that end is and then this one is just I don't know if I'm showing you guys there we go that's the small end now let me turn it around and that's the big end so I know it has to be for um, I want to say embroidery needles because no that isn't going to work on that so it would have to be one of the other kind but I don't know quite how to use it exactly so maybe I'll thread here let's see some we will just wing it folks hang in there we're just going to use an example just to see if this works all right so you got your thing and I'm assuming that sits there I can't see where you are oh my goodness okay let me turn it sideways I gotta stand up for this ladies and gentlemen all right so I put where is it okay so okay here's the hook you see the eye and I can't do this at distance so you just stick that in there and it went only so far where's my piece of one thread that I had it was fairly long now I'm assuming that you hook the thread like so and pull away look at that look at how easy that was oh my god we can't lose that oh god where'd it go can't nope Isn't that cool so we'll just put it back in its little baggie and I'll put that piece of thread in there but that worked really slick on a big needle now I think you'd have to get a different one if you were gonna thread like quilt thread that one that she had the I'll just show you with this this is look pretend this is that wire and it just bent look at don't worry about my hands oh my god my hands look terrible this close up look at all the dots um it bent so you could go into the needle top put the thread down through that that hole and then just pull it through it was more pliable or not pliable is that the word for for metal you know what I mean so we'll put that back over here but I'm glad to see that that works because that'll really work on the the peacock thing I mean I'm not having any problems or issues but uh, I don't know if you can still see me here we're almost down over here and then I think I, I think we're gonna quit for tonight I've had just about enough happy fun okay lime green is eight and it tells me that it's eight right there can you see that isn't that cool it's right there until you cover it up and then you don't know anymore isn't that how that goes but uh, so I mean I've been talking and not doing so much stuff but uh, I wanted to see how that needle threader worked because I'd never seen one like that before ever uh, like I said, the only ones I've been exposed to were in Sweet Sue's sewing stuff. Oh, jeez. Like I said, that was the Dark Ages, guys. And some of these young people, they wouldn't even know that one. But uh, I guess they were a needle company because she had several different packs. You know, like some would be darners or some would be embroidering things or whatever. I mean, I'm sure that 
whoops, I need number one, that uh, they had all different kinds. And then hers, the one that I remember the most, it had all different kinds. You know, I mean, it was like an assortment. But uh, they probably, I don't know if they did more sewing back then. They did a mend and close, but, you know, my mother very rarely did embroidery. I don't know if she didn't like it or she just didn't have time. But, I mean, she would pick up crafts here or there. and Like she'd work on knitting or um, or embroidery or, you know, just one thing at a time and, and do that. And, you know, and then on to some, maybe something else. But, I mean, it wasn't a constant with her. Like... Me, I always have to have something going. I, I like that idea. And uh, I waited a lot, a lot of years. All right, guys, my thread just came out again. I know. But the, now I have this small dinky needle. But uh, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Um, I want to touch bases. Uh, thank you for joining me. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening, and God bless. Bye-bye.